Hello gamers, Main Chamber here for another edition of tonight on Main Chamber's Game Table, where tonight I am going to try to get a survivor to survive my uh, my game, my solo horror dice game for Dice Cthulhu. Uh, those of you that are following the channel know that uh, all of the videos that I have done uh, since I've released this game out on itch.io for all of you to play, I have not been able to get a character to survive. And I thought about moving on to something else. I've had uh, lots of requests to, you know, bring back the superhero game, but I'm still in the midst of tweaking it. It's getting, it's close to where I want it, but not quite. I feel like I'm missing some kind of component and I'm still brainstorming it, but I, I think that's gonna be out soon. But I keep coming back to <laughs> trying to get somebody to survive. So I guess it comes down to me being stubborn and me really trying to get it on video. So I'm gonna make this video. I'm gonna, I'm, pro I'm just gonna try once. Uh, if I don't make it, <laughs> I'm probably going to make another video and try again. Uh, unless it's really fast game, which, you know, this game tends to be about the same amount regardless of the results uh, of time. So, um, we'll see how that goes. And uh, no promises up front. Maybe I'll change my mind after the mission's over. We'll see. Anyway, so here I am. I'm going to try to stop the Elder God from breaking in to our world. And I'm going to assemble my team of investigators at random from the investigators in my Four Dice Cthulhu. As I mentioned, it's on, it, on itch.io if you like to play this. It's a pay what you want, so you can play for free if you like. Or uh, help support the channel. All right, so we got the sorcerer, the detective, the adventurer, and the professor. Oh, some of my favorite characters. Really like the professor. Uh, I, think that, I think that's like a new direction for game the game design for this game. Uh, in my four dice line and I like the adventure too. I think they're both kind of um, Departures from Some of my previous designs, you know, because I designed four dice fantasy first and then I designed this second uh, And you know the detective and to a certain extent the sorcerer are just you know extensions of other characters from four dice fantasy But the professor and adventurer have completely new abilities and are completely different things. So I'm pretty excited uh that they're gonna be trying this this time around. Okay, so we set, it's the first investigation. They've got wind of something horrible starting to make its way. We got a little bit of glare on the professor here. Something horrible making its way into our world. So let's see where those clues are hidden. Uh, I'm going to use, um, I'll use this for the detective. The adventurer, I will use, um, I like these dice, so this will be the adventurer for this game. The professor, uh, let's go, we'll go blue for the professor, purple for the sorcerer. There's another purple. Uh, no. Huh. But I'm in purple. Oh yeah, I got it it's in my hand. <laughs> Good. All right, so Professor's blue. Professor ends up rolling two dice for investigations, so I will need to pop out another blue die for him for when that happens. I like to roll all the dice at the same time. Oops, that are that are needed. All right, yeah, we'll do that. All right, cool. All right, so we're in the investigation phase. This is where their investigations are hidden. They're in the first phase of their investigation setting out to discover what they can of this. All right, here we go. So they can roll, we roll the, their investigations. Okay, looks like we got doubles here. The professor counts both of his dice, or both of his dice stay, I don't have to drop one of them. And, uh, hmm. So detective may force a clue, monster occultist re-roll once per phase. So we're gonna have this three re-roll. Ah, of course, we'll always roll the same number. <laughs> and sorcerer doesn't affect anything till uh, combat monster time. So that's what we've got. So the doubles defeat the three. So I did get this, five defeats the five, one defeats the one. Four defeats four. I was looking at that six. Yeah, okay, good. So no impending doom tokens are added. And each one of them gets uh, checks to see if they found an artifact in this first part of the investigation. 
If not, they get a Mythos Knowledge Token, which can be used after the case if they survive to get those things. Okay, and we've got um, the Sorcerer and the Detective both find a artifact. Let's see what it is. And it is Mystic Shield Tokens. So they each get a Mystic Shield Token. All right, those come in use. Uh, those will come in useful. So we move into the second phase of the investigation, and we'll see where this takes us. Professor, okay. Roll the investigation dice. This is where the clues are hidden, and they must discover them. Now I expect this team to be pretty. I think this team's going to be kind of good in both combat and investigation. So fingers crossed. It all comes down to going against that elder god, though, doesn't it? All right, so we got doubles there. Five takes out the five, and one takes out the one. Looks like we're still standing with one, so we're gonna have the detective double search. Okay, use his ability. All right, so let's apply the effects. Uh, doubles finds a one. Five finds this five. One finds this one, okay. So we do have one clue hidden away, so we must add an impending doom token to the investigation. So in the background, the forces of the mythos are marshalling their forces. All right, and then they have to roll. Oh, well, now they also have to make a temporary sanity check as they delve into their investigations. And the sorcerer... Um, is temporarily out of commission. The Mystic Shield tokens do not guard against sanity checks, only against combat. Uh, they can also use the Mystic Shield tokens to re-roll um, re an investigation or combat roll. However, <laughs> I rarely do that. I've done it a few times in the past, depending on the situation. Anyway, so they will not have the benefit of the Sorcerer for this particular, uh, for this particular search. And we added an impending doom token. Okay. And, well, they got double fives. So, uh, so that eliminates any a, num a number of any results. So, or not eliminates, but discovers. And so, um, I guess in my rules, it's not really clear. Let's see. I don't know about clear, but... Um, if somebody's temporary... It's just not rolled for the next investigation roll. So... So, uh, they come back to their senses before the roll for um, artifacts. Oh, I forgot. Add these mystic, or these mythos knowledge tokens to the people who didn't find them. All right, no one finds any artifacts on that time, so they each get a mythos knowledge token which can be used between cases. That's if they stop the Elder God the first time, and the Elder God tries to break in again a second time, it's called a case. So you have to go, you know, you have to defeat the Elder God and have someone survive for a case to be solved. But in the meantime, these uh, Mythos Knowledge Tokens can be used to buy Mystic Shields and possibly Elder Signs, and we've not yet seen Elder Signs in this particular investigation. So we move to the third investigation. The clues are hidden. Hmm. There, 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 and there. So the investigators investigate. Doubles here, doubles here, nice. All right, so I think we got this without using anybody's ability. So doubles will defeat um, a five. Each of these fives will also defeat a five, and these two will defeat the two. So they get by without an additional impending doom token. And the, the sorcerer finds yet another artifact, which is also another mystic shield token. He's going to give that to the professor because he has one already. And they're going to try to spread the love. So he finds it and he gives it to the professor. Okay. Now we go into the combat phase. We uh, go to four dice. Um, we go to four dice. Monster dice. Plus one for each impending doom token as the monsters descend upon the investigators who are getting too close 
to this. So, and one more for the impending doom token. Okay. So now we roll these. And these are the mythos creatures that are coming against our investigators. Okay. So here we go. All right, not too bad. Doubles. Six and a four. All right, so the sorcerer is going to turn this die to a four. He can control monsters with his sorcery. And the detective is going to have force this monster to re-roll. Okay, so here we go. Five defeats five. Five defeats five. Six defeats six. Four defeats four. And doubles defeats one. So they took them out. Woo, and they don't have to make any kind of sanity check or... And they move into their second combat phase. Once again, still five monsters. All right. And... This is their combat roll. All right. Oh, I rolled this. Oh. Oh. Technically, that's not a combat roll. Because I needed to check to see if they got... Uh, artifacts. So we'll just count that roll as artifacts since it was fairly rolled. Um, the the, the uh, this time the professor and the sorcerer find artifacts, and nicely done. The sorcerer finds an elder sign token, which he is going to give to himself. And give the adventure or the adventurer can save herself. So he's going to give that extra. He's going to give that extra mystic shield token to the professor. Now the sorcerer can control monsters and cultists. So, and this will have him avoid making sanity checks because the elder sign prevents, uh, el uh, yeah, sanity checks. And also he can re-roll. Um, elder sign tokens allow him to re-roll a. Um, any investigation roll or combat roll for a phase, and the bearer of the incident does not make sanity rolls. So, any investigation roll or combat roll per phase, but not a uh, save roll, I believe. Yeah, the Mystic Shield tokens are for save rolls. So the professor is extra vulnerable to save rolls. Okay, so that's good. It's kind of interesting. The adventurer who can find artifacts has not yet done so. Okay. Find artifacts more effectively than everybody else. All right, so this is our second round of combat. Um, okay, not terrible. Sorcerer is going to turn this to a six. The detective is going to have this five re-roll. He gets a two. That helps. Okay, so let's apply the effects. They're not going to use any of this to do that. They also get more. Um, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I I I feel like I'm missing an extra Mystic Shield token. No, I think I'm good. And if not wasn't meant to be. Okay, let me apply these effects. Three defeats a three. Doubles defeats a four. Six defeats a six. And two defeats a two. Okay, so they have to make a uh, sanity roll and a, a save roll. And then a sanity roll. The professor saves. Okay, nobody rolled a one anywhere. So that's good. Um, now they have to make a sanity test. All except the sorcerer. And the detective is failing his sanity roll. So this is still temporary insanity because they are not up against the Elder God. The Elder God has not yet made itself known. So he is out for this next combat roll. So they're going to go into combat. And they are unable to defeat that monster. Now, the professor could use this to re-roll one of his encounter rolls. 
And so could the sorcerer. I think the sorcerer is going to do that. Sorcerer is going to spend his, because it's still safe from the sanity, to re-roll his roll to see if he can get a one. Ah, oh, yes, it paid off. So they defeat that monster finally with the help of the Elder Sign. And so that brings them to the next, well, first of all, let's see if anybody finds an artifact. Yes, the uh, adventurer finally finds an artifact, and it is a Mystic Shield token. So she's going to give the Mystic Shield token to the sorcerer. Because she can kind of, she's pretty lucky, so she can save herself pretty well. And then uh, we're going to enter into the final showdown phase. And that is going to have... Uh, five cultists attempting to bring an elder god into our, our performing a ceremony to bring the elder god into our world and they've partially made it in once we kill all the cultists then they can start working the elder god and from this point on any sanity test they make will also remove them from the game they'll go hopelessly uh, mad so set up pretty well but i'm i've been set up this well before in the past so uh <clears throat> that's uh no guarantees here folks no guarantees. Uh, so, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Fighting the five cultists in the final showdown. So we got doubles. We got a one. We got a six. That's not terrible, folks. Um, we're going to have the sorcerer turn this four to a three. He uses his sorcerer's powers to control that monster. And I think we did pretty well here. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I did it all. Okay, so six defeats a six. Three defeats a three. Three defeats a three. Doubles defeats a two. One defeats a one. Wow, awesome. So they defeat all the cultists in one fell blow. But now they have to make two save rolls and a sanity test before they move into the close the gateway phase. So here are two save rolls. And of course, Professor rolls one, but of course he would because he has to take the worst of his things. So he's going to use a Mystic Shield token to re-roll. And he is safe thanks to the power of the artifact that he found. Okay. And then they all except the Sorcerer who is protected by the Elder Sign must make a Sanity Test. And this is slippery because there's not much that can save them from this if they roll a one. And of course, the adventurer rolls a one. She only gets to re-roll, save rolls. So she is defeated. She is driven mad by the presence of the Elder God. So we shall move her to the side. All right. And her mythic, myth, uh, mythos knowledge tokens can be picked up um, later. Okay, so now... Everybody resets, and we go into this phase. Um, whew. Too bad she went down, and her extra die would have helped. So now they have to match the face of that, and I'm playing on regular mode, which is they can only turn it down one face no matter how many uh, positive results they get. Uh, if you want to make this game easier, my suggestion is if you get multiple results that could turn that six down, go ahead and do that. But I'm playing rules as written. And so we got a double. So that turns it down to a five. Okay. They have to make two save rolls and one sanity test. Two save rolls. One. Two. Looks like we're good. Now they have to make a sanity test. All but the sorcerer. And of course, the detective rolls. <sighs> Goes in mad, totally mad, all right? There's nothing that's gonna save them. Because the Mystic Shield tokens can only be used to reroll saves. So we give that to, Professor picks that up. And now they may, he has to also make a sanity test. Oh, that was a sanity test. Sorry. All right, back to the combat roll. They got doubles, so they turn it down one. 
Okay, so either a five or doubles would have turned that down, so good to go. So now they have to make uh, two save tests, one save test, and the professor is going to use a myth Mystic Shield token to re-roll, and he's okay. Second save test. Got it. Now, sanity test for the professor. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. That's, that's, uh... I don't believe it. I just, I really, I just, I don't believe it. Okay. All right. So that brings us back to, um, we're going to save these over here. Uh, combat roll. Now, see, he could use one of these. Or he's going to use his Elder Sign to reroll that. And it's not good enough. Okay. Elder Sign still protects from sanity roll. Okay, first save roll. Second save roll. Doesn't have to make a sanity test. So, combat roll. Nope. Save roll. Save roll. Seems like I come down to this quite a bit. <laughs> uh, combat roll. Ah, oh, so close. Save roll, save roll, combat roll. All right. <laughs> save roll. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's another save roll. Yeah, okay. Attack. Ah, save roll. Save roll. Attack. Save roll. Dead. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, it's a dice game, right? So I, I keep thinking to myself, like, is it is it too hard? And, and then then I answer the answer to this question is I it's a dice game. And the answer to that question is is that I, I, what I've learned is, is I, I'm not so sure the game is that hard. I, I just think I, I roll a lot of ones. <laughs> um, to be fair, I don't think there were a lot of ones in the investigation phase. I don't think there were a lot of ones uh, against the monsters. But when we got here, they all popped out. So I'd almost rather <laughs> roll them way in the beginning. I had a pretty good team. Of course, I've had a good team each time. But I don't want to make it sound like I'm complaining. I'm just flabbergasted. <laughs> I'm just flabbergasted. Because I like I said, I did have someone survive once in playtesting. And that was before I adjusted the rules to even make it a little easier. So I know it's possible. Uh, somebody in my comments, I'm sorry the name eludes me currently, uh, Bob maybe, um, he said he got, a, he got somebody to survive and he, he forced that Elder God back into the plane from whence it came. But I do not seem to have any luck with that at all. So, that's this try. <laughs> I'm going to go have a, a long think and decide whether I want to put myself through this again. But the problem is, it's like a sore tooth. I just can't help trying. I just can't help. I, like, I need it to happen. I need to have somebody survive on camera. And, and the crazy thing is, is that I, playing on easy mode wouldn't have even mattered. That at the end there against the Elder God. Yeah, I just, wow, I just, I can't, I can't process it. Anyway, I mean, I am processing it. And and I, I'm having fun. I'm having fun rolling those dice. I'm having fun trying. I think that's, that's where a lot of the fun in this game especially comes in is having such fun trying to survive, uh, trying to win this game. Uh, I mean, I... It's great. I mean, maybe I need to make Mystic Shield tokens able to reroll say or uh, sanity rolls. I mean, that'd be another way to put on easy mode. But I, I like the Elder Sign completely erases the need for a sanity roll. And the Mystic Shield tokens seem more physical to me. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, well, that was that. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, whether it's another Cthulhu video or whether it's something else. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support, and until next time, keep on rolling dice and playing games. Mage Hammer, out.